I remember when I was younger and I was frankly rotting my life away doing silly things. Playing League of Legends 12 hours a day, jacking off to porn, going out on nights out and doing a cocktail of drugs. When I think back to it now, it physically pains me to think about all of the time which I wasted doing these things. Like bro, you're on page 12 of Pornhub, just choose a fucking video. Better yet, go jack off to porn. Just to put it into perspective, it's well known that it takes roughly 10,000 hours to master a skill. I'm talking Chef Gordon Ramsay levels of cooking, Jimi Hendrix levels of guitar playing, Vincent Van Gogh levels of art, okay? 10,000 hours dedicated to your craft to become the absolute best in the world at it. And think about all of the fulfillment and success that comes along with doing something like that. I spent nearly 4,000 hours on Counter-Strike alone, let alone the rest of the video games which I played, especially GTA 5. I don't know how many hours I put into that game. I played that game across three console generations. I used to take days off school to play it. What was my return on investment for my 4,000 hours of playing Counter-Strike? Absolutely fucking nothing. You think I'd pull up to a girl and tell her that I got legendary eagle rank on Counter-Strike and she immediately drops her panties for me? Quite the opposite. In fact, she only fucks guys who got to Global Elite, sadly. She's not fucking the Global Elite guy, actually. She's, she's really not. The Global Elite guy fucking stinks. He hasn't left the house in, in years. You think my hours Hours of forward neck mouth breathing, shouting at my teammates, has netted me any tangible benefit outside of video games? Absolutely not. In fact, Quite the opposite. It helped speed up the decay of my life, spending my time doing these things which had no tangible benefit for me. My prospects, my skills, all decaying in real time while I play these games. You think someone who jacks off to porn twice a day manages to make eye contact and make conversation with women? You think they don't have the women on some fucked up pedestal in their own mind which makes it impossible for them to even socialize with them? You think they have the drive to even better themselves in any way? Their hunger is already satiated is it not? They're tricking themselves into thinking that they're having sex twice, three, four, five times a day with beautiful women. If I was having sex with five beautiful women every single day, I don't think I would have to drive to do anything. Why would you? You're already mega successful with women, clearly, right? You must be doing everything right in your life to attract so many beautiful women. My 4,000 hours on Counter-Strike and my many, many other hours I spent wasting my time doing silly things and playing silly video games were a massive, massive waste of my time. And it made my life significantly worse. However, I remember one of the best excuses I made during this period of time in my life and I still hear it to this day inside of my discord server. You want to know what it was? I don't know what to do with my free time. I almost get overwhelmed with envy whenever I hear someone say that. How do you possibly have so much free time to blow? So much so that you're wasting it on shit like video games, jacking off, rugs, and then I realize the reason why. Their life trajectory is going down and the reason is you're not developing. You're not building anything. Men are born into this world and we get to build our character from the ground up. When you're playing video games, the only skill you're leveling up is being a dosser. That's the beautiful thing about being a man. We get to build ourselves, we get to be whatever we want to be, providing that you're willing to make the sacrifices necessary to get to that point. I believe the vast majority of people who say, I don't know what to do with my free time, know exactly what they should be doing in their free time. Do what needs to be done. But just in case, there's someone out there watching this video who was just like me when I was in that position and I genuinely had no idea what self-development looked like outside of the education system, the work system, and just the horrible life path that is set out for you from a very young age. Develop a valuable and marketable skill. Develop a skill which you can become the best in the world at. Don't be a useless sloth your whole life. Work as a man is fulfillment. The second we stop working, we die. If you are a man who seeks to avoid work, you are one of two categories. One, you hate your work because you haven't developed the skills and the mindset necessary to be able to get a job that you enjoy doing. Or two, you're a bitch and you want to rot away 
doing absolutely nothing with your life. There is no third option. It's time to take full accountability over your life and the decisions that you made to get here. If you want my pathway and my shortcuts to developing the valuable skill of video editing, then join my video editing academy of excellence and learn to become one of the best video editors in the world. In an attention economy, the skill of harnessing attention through video editing is becoming more and more valuable. Join my academy and get a one-up on your competition. You'll gain access to a network of the best video editors that the internet has to offer all sharing tips knowledge assets amongst each other click the link in the description now i hope this was helpful take care